Welcome back to episode 12 of the Skateboard Ranch, a series where you can follow my adventure in my quest to build the ultimate campground and DIY skate park paradise. In the last episode, I was finally able to complete the bathroom, so now it was time to turn my focus to the heart of the house, the kitchen. At the time, it was early November, winter was just around the corner, and the area where I wanted to put the kitchen was just basically a hole in the floor. So with all that work in front of me and no time to spare, I just jumped right into it. The first thing to do in the kitchen was obviously to rebuild the floor. As you can imagine, what was left of the original floor was far from perfect. It was saggy and bouncy and not even close of being level. So in an effort to give it a little more sturdiness and make it easier to merge the new section of floor, I added a few more support columns and shimmed the original beam to a somewhat acceptable level. Then I had to fix the other beam that had been badly damaged by the old leaking toilet. So I added a few more cinder blocks for support and rebuilt it with some new 2x8s on each side. I was now finally ready to rebuild the floor structure. As I was going, I figured it would be a good move to add a trapdoor to the floor so that I could easily access the basement in the future. Before closing everything up, since I still had a pretty good access to the main drainage pipe, I hooked up the drain for the kitchen sink and I was now ready to put down the first layer of ply on the floor. Now that I had the floor to stand on, it was time to tackle the next big project on the list, removing that post in the middle of the opening between the living room and the kitchen. But it wasn't until I had removed all the remaining drywall that I really found out what was ironing underneath. Basically, that lower beam was supporting all the joists from the second floor, and at the end, there was that nice little piece of engineering, with an obvious weak spot. So, simply removing the post wasn't gonna cut it. I definitely needed to add up some support on each side and beef up that beam all across the opening. My first support column was cut and ready to go. I just needed to lift up the beam a little bit to make it fit snugly in there. Oh my God. Well, that was a close one. Holy shit, you get shot, sir. After that little mishap that could have led to some serious consequences, I figured it might be a good idea to get some help to tackle that part of the build. So I kindly asked Gab and Julien that you might remember from episode 10, and they generously accepted, so we got to work right away. And now, the moment of truth. Hey, With that damn post out of the way, there was only a few more steps to go through before I could put up the drywall, paint, and start the kitchen cabinet.
and just like that, we now had a window in the kitchen. So I was ready to move on to the next step, drywall and paint. With the drywall and paint out of the way, I was almost ready to get on with the cabinet. But I still had to figure out one thing, what to do with the floor. My original idea was to recycle some of the floorboards, but after realizing that it was nearly impossible to remove them cleanly, I had to come up with a different solution. Since the original floorboard weren't in that great of a shape, I came to the conclusion that sooner or later I'm gonna have to replace the flooring on the whole floor. So I decided to put down a second layer of ply in order to have a somewhat even surface and then apply a good coat of floor paint matching the original color of the floor. It may not be perfect, but it will do until I find a more permanent solution. Now I only had to wait for the paint to dry so that I could finally get going on the kitchen cabinet. With all the major construction work finally done in the house, I was able to downsize my workspace so that we could finally set up the living room. Of course, there's still some finishing work and aesthetic stuff that needs to be done, but nothing that can't wait. We've been waiting so long for this, so it was really rewarding to finally be able to sit on our couches in our living room. As far as the kitchen goes, I couldn't be more happy with the result. I wanted it to be practical with a nice working station and lots of counter space so that I could cook for groups and guests that will visit the ranch. And after using it for a little while, I'm confident to say that I reached my goal. It's hard to believe that we went from this to this.
completing the kitchen and finally being able to enjoy the house for what it is, a house and not a construction site, was a big milestone. Even though I had totally underestimated the amount of work and time it was going to take me to renovate the house, at the end of the day, I still made it happen. Just like for the rest of this project, even though there's gonna be a lot of surprises and unknown in front of me, if I put my head down and I just go step by step, I know I can succeed. Nobody said it was going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So that's all for today's video. In the next episode, I'm gonna update you guys on the work I did outside during the winter. So if you don't wanna miss it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're still here and you like what you've seen, don't be shy and hit that like button. And you can also follow The Ranch on Facebook and Instagram. See you soon for our next episode of The Skateboard Ranch.